I have felt you coming. The first in a century. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a Dark Justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until of course your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her, but your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Nightsong is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child, frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. I believe I just did that. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Shara. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. 
You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready? To kill Ketherick Thorn. to be here, not after what we did. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. But there's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorn. be anointed dark justicia I'll go this way ascend in her silver blood I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me, punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. 
And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise and hope that answers soon follow. When the chance arises, I must speak to Night Song again. Whatever she claims to know, it may just help me make sense of everything. out there. Who was that streaking across the sky? An immortal. But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now, we're all counting on you. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Something good here, I hope. <laughs> 